I'm pretty sure it was Fred, because because one of the boys really likes Rogue. <laughs> yeah, we may have spent our life savings on on a new plane. We will have bought the farm. <laughs> get down, you bad goat! This is why you get bread first, because you're annoying. You're gonna be nice. I'm not going to be nice <laughs> Why not? I'm grumpy and well, I didn't get a shower today because I've been packing and you, I wanted to do this earlier and you were mm -hmm. mean to me. <laughs> I'm not mean to her. <laughs> she is grumpy and she has reason to be. It's stressful trying to pack up a homestead and move. And take care of a farm. Yeah. No. And, 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 and. And close my uh, framing business and clean up after the renters that just left my rental property A anyways my face is right there <laughs> sorry <laughs> I didn't mean to do that <laughs> makes me feel okay. like I'm gonna be smacked <laughs> all, all right all right so <clears throat> just recently we harvested some goats because we didn't have enough room for goats not as many as we had yeah now we're specifically trying to breed goats again. Why are we doing that, Wendy? Because we're moving to a big property where we can have a nice goat herd with baby goats and the space to take care of them and enjoy them properly. Yeah, yeah. And, and milk. And we want to have milk and yeah. cheese and yeah. things like that again because, you know, when, when we were doing that, when I had more time when it was COVID and, you know, I could put stuff on the stove and take care of it between things it was great so but now when i before i retired i didn't have any time to do that so stressful. very stressful um, yeah so now we're gonna have time for me to make cheese and take care of goats and do all that stuff so we're looking forward to having yummy goat cheese again where i can make all the soft and hard cheeses and we can enjoy them in our food and not have to go to the grocery store for teas and milk anymore which has been a bummer for a while now that we've had to buy store-bought milk. milk yep yeah there's another reason that having goat babies is or pregnant goats is a good idea when we're actually doing the move across country in a horse trailer with all these goats if they're we don't want them to be all riled up yeah. and if they're trying pregnant, to get at each other. <laughs> if they're pregnant, they won't be in heat. So yeah. a little, hopefully a little calmer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it'll be stressful on the goats no matter what. Yeah. We're, hopefully it'll be a little less doing, yeah. doing it that way. Yeah. We're, we're hoping that... Eros. Eros. Stop that. Bad dog. Eros has got the zoomies. Go, Eros. <laughs> Woo. Eros. Where's your bone? Get it! No, don't jump on it. Get it. <laughs> Goofy. <laughs> yeah, so it, if we're moving in October, that is like peak goat breeding season. So we're trying to get at least the worst culprits, which is um, rogue and indigo the big goat to be bred so that we don't have them causing chaos because they're the most likely to cause problems for us. So hopefully we've got them bred at least. I'm pretty sure it was bred because one of the boys really likes Rogue. <laughs> and so hopefully that won't be an issue, but we can't, we haven't been able to breed Bonnie because we don't have a goat that works for Bonnie right now. So she might be a bit of a problem because she's she's loud and she's been sticking her head through the fence and causing me all sorts of sleepless nights. So I need to get them moved back to where they belong because I can't I can't deal with them anymore. <laughs> So, and I need to get boxes back in the shed again and things like that. So everything's in the way. Chaos. Yep. Yeah. Now, goat gestation is about five months. So that means if we've got some goats bred around this time, we should expect goat babies in November. Oh, I'm sorry, not November. In February. 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 I don't know why I said that. Don't make me February. Have goats babies in February. This is too much. <laughs> Our November. So something yeah, to look February, forward to. February will be a challenge anyways, but 
because it's going to be when I'm starting seeds and things like that, but I, and it will also probably be cold and things, and I know we should probably wait, but we also want this to be a little easier on the goats, so, you know. Something to look forward to, yeah. goat babies. Yeah. <laughs> All right, do you want to talk about how we've actually used our current setup to separate goats for breeding? Yeah, it hasn't been the most perfect situation because we've got Bonnie in isolation mm -hmm. in here. So you can see where Stryker is. That's where Bonnie is. And I can go in there and show her. They show really want to get, he really wants to get to Bonnie. So, mm -hmm. um, and then we've got Blue over here and he's kind of sad because he's all by himself. Let's go look at Blue. Goats are herd animals and they do not like to be separated from their herd mates. Yeah. You poor baby. He can see them. Blue is separated in his own little space here. He just hangs out right at the, the fence here so we can see the other goats. It's okay. We're not trying to breed Blue. He's a beautiful goat and we would love to. We just don't have a goat to breed him with. Indigo is his mom. And all of the other goats are too small because Blue was a larger goat. During the, during the actual birth process, if a small goat is trying to give birth to a large baby, there could be complications. Okay, I can't see a thing. This is probably not going to work. But you can tell, just by the sounds at least, that Stryker here has been hanging out right here at the gate. And Bonnie is also kind of teasing him on a little, I, I think. make Bonnie come out. Bonbons, look, what's this? There's a bonbon. Yeah, I can't, I can't see anything, it's just too dark. There she is. So here's where, Bob, where Santa is. Santa and Clyde. Clyde, the loudmouth. They're both loudmouths. I'm a little bit worried about making these loudmouth babies now. <laughs> Clyde has been the dominant goat. Yes. And Sienna is fairly dominant too, so they'll probably make some very strong willed children. <laughs> Sienna has not been happy about being over here. She's been kind of complaining that she just doesn't like it and she wants to go back with her, her sisters. Yeah. Okay, so you can go get her now, Brian. Tell them again why we're uh, moving them back. We're moving them back because I need to get sleep at night and I need to put stuff in my goat barn and I can't get into it because there's too many rambunctious goats. And I think that the... Two crazy goats have already been bred, so we did what we could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Blue is in his little pen, and that's where we've been storing some of these boxes that we've been packing up. You're it's just too it. hard to get in there with the goat maybe getting out. So it's time to move him back. We're going to be heading out on our trip. It's pretty exciting to look at He's new property. He's over explaining. <laughs> Are you excited that we're going to go look at new properties? I'm very excited. We're going to do that soon. It's like maybe a week or a week and a half away. Finally. Uh. By the time you see this video, we may have already been back there. Yeah. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah. We may have spent our life savings on, on a new place. We will have bought the farm. <laughs> You need to get her out of there, Brian. Come here. Come here. Come on. Oh, snap. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Clyde. I don't know what I'm filming. <laughs> Look. 
Just take her, take her back to the back porch. She'll go. Eros, quit being a jerk. Bad dog. Oh, Eros, you're naughty. You can't be settle, trusted. Settle down. This is. Come on. <laughs> She's such a good girl. She won't do it for the food. She wants back with her people. Back with her people. Yep. Oh, look, Mama missed her. <laughs> All the goats want to know what's going on. <laughs> well, we've got to get uh, Striker. Yeah, I think that's what we should get next because blue is contained. Blue is so. easier. Yeah, and I want to get Sienna back. We're keeping Sienna on the deck until we get Stryker out because we can't have Sienna being bred by Stryker. Because he's very motivated by the food. All right. So, hey, get down, you bad goat. This is why you get bred first, because you're annoying. <laughs> Come on, Eros. Yes. <laughs> Hey, no! You're gonna have to let him settle down. That is not helping. Oh, and now Sienna's out. Uh, let's try to get Sienna back in here. Come here, Sienna. Sienna, come on. No, that's not good. Get away from him. <laughs> Sienna, go back in with your mother. I can't open the do gate because there's doofus here. Come on. Here, give me the camera. Ugh. You can't do that with one hand. No. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Arrow, don't help. Yep. Okay. It really yep. doesn't matter, I Don't guess, but I'd rather have Vivili and know who I bred to. Okay, now we got it. Oh, you're so nasty. Come on, Bubba. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, melodrama. Come here, come here, Blue. It's all right. Hard to do it one handed.
Got him. Look at my boo boo. <laughs> He's just hungry. Yes. It's really dark. Should I just stop this now? Go ahead, stop. <laughs>